So, hello and welcome. My name's Steve DeBell, and today I'm speaking with Carol Nyach on Holographic Universe, Holographic Healing. Carol has been channeling Arcturians for the last three years and what leads a group working with them for the last two years in central London. So um, I've known Carol for a while and she's, she's a great uh, a channel and um, a great inspiration for many people in London who are, uh, who are starseeds and lightworkers. So Carol, welcome to you. Good morning to you, Steve. Morning. Now, Carol, can you just say a little bit about your work with the Arcturians in London? What, what are you doing there? Well, we meet every Wednesday evening and did other times as well. We do a lot of personal work and also quite a bit of planetary work. So we work mainly with the Arcturians, but um, with other beings as well, such as Archangel Metatron, Jesus Ananda, and so on. So it's really following um, the spiritual technology and techniques which the Arcturians have given to us via the wonderful work of David Miller and his group of 40. So it's really about raising our frequency into a more expanded consciousness. So we... The Arcturians gift us with their energies, and um, it's all part of the ascension process, moving up into a higher and higher consciousness, more expanded consciousness. Yeah. Now, I love the title. Can you just say something about what is the holographic universe? Well, today we're going to be working with a beautiful Nigerian being who calls herself Helioa and she works with holographic energy, holographic light, holographic healing and I think we've probably all heard it said that um, even though we're just a grain of sand in this gigantic universe we can research and understand and experience the entire universe it also relates to that saying of course as above so below and also comes into the realms of unity consciousness that through the part one can access all the whole and through one part, one can heal the whole. If you heal a part, you can heal the whole. What, what, how does holographic energy relate to us, really? Well, holographic energy, which Helio our channels to us, is quite a high energy and difficult to hold unless we've done quite a bit of spiritual work to raise our frequency and be able to hold higher light. But when we can move into a more expanded consciousness and start to work with that energy, it um, allows us to access um, past lives, future lives, other aspects of self, other dimensions of the self, and so on. And it also allows us to work with the holographic energy field of Earth. It's really connected to thought fields. How can we start working with this, with this energy? Well, we start with um, doing a little meditation to raise our frequency, moving up into expanded consciousness, and then allowing these energies to work through us in specific ways. So one of the things which Helio and the Arcturians have made available to us is what they call their holographic healing chamber, which they've set up specifically for us. So so we can journey in consciousness to their starship Athena and go into a holographic healing chamber which they are set up just for us and we can work in the holographic healing chamber to heal various aspects of self and also to have a certain access to the future self where we're more healed more evolved and bring back from the future self into the present self something which we wish for so uh, in this meditation today, who will we be working with? Well, it will be Hideoa who will be working with us. Well, OK, Carol, I'm really looking forward to this meditation. So I'm coming with you re ready when you are. Oh, wonderful. But it is important, of course, to mention that it is sacred work to only be used for higher purposes, for the highest good. And 
And so it's also very important that not only do we move into expanded consciousness, but also we bring in the energy of love and that we work with love. And we'll find through this meditation that one of the requirements for the success of working with holographic energy in the holographic energy fields is concentration, focus, and the ability to strengthen the power of our thoughts, as well as working with love. But um, we'll begin our meditation now and we'll see where it leads us. So I think we'll start first with coming into a more relaxed and more centered place in ourselves so that the Arcturians will be able to raise our frequency for us before we begin to work with the holographic energy. So let us all now simply settle down into a comfortable position where we can really relax our bodies. As we feel ourselves beginning to relax, our focus of our attention, of our awareness, moves downwards into our body. And we become aware of our breath as we begin to breathe more consciously. As we breathe in the life force, the energy of spirit into our bodies. This automatically increases the awareness of self as our focus moves from the outer world inwards into our inner being and we find as we move inwards into that inner plane, that place within which we cannot define but which we can only experience. We become aware then of the spiritual energies that are entering into us, that are all around us. As we find within that single point of stillness, that it is always still, that is always at peace. And we can open our crown now as we let our focus move upwards to our crown and allow our crown to open that we may receive from above the light of spirit, the I am presence descending downwards from source through the multi-dimensions of self into my third dimensional presence and I feel I am and I begin to experience myself as a being of light, as the divine being of light that I truly am, simply wearing a physical body. And from this place of inner beingness, we now ask the Arcturians to send down around us a corridor of light and we feel their energy entering through our energy field down into our crown. It is a showering of energy which they give to us to clear and cleanse and purify our energy field. And as we receive this energy, we begin to feel ourselves becoming clearer and lighter. It's a beautiful sensation and we simply rest in this energy for there is nothing to do here, no effort to make, no need to try. We simply relax, simply allow and open to receive. And as we feel 
with more and more energy of spirit at higher and higher frequencies. The Arturians now bring to us a shimmering energy which begins below our feet and rises gently up through our aura, through our energy field, gradually raising our vibration, increasing our frequency. As our frequency rises, our consciousness begins to expand and we can expand our consciousness upwards and outwards into galactic consciousness. We become aware of the galaxy. We feel within a much more elevated consciousness. And from this place, Helioa now places a golden corridor around each one of us and invites us to travel to Hastashi Pasina. So if you would like to travel with us, simply relax down into your body. You may feel that the energy around you is spinning. It will not make you dizzy, but you may feel the spinning of the energy field. Simply allow yourself to rise gently upwards in consciousness into the corridor. And we will thought to project ourselves with Helioa's help through our third eye to the starship Athena. So we travel, we thought to project ourselves through our third eye in consciousness, in our spirit body to the starship Athena now. And we instantly arrive at the speed of thought. And we are all together with Helioa in the beautiful starship Athena. Use your imagination, your visualization to see yourself in the starship Athena, the Arcturian starship. The energies here are crystalline. They are very beautiful. And you begin to experience in this place the beauty, the joy, and the love which is present here in Athena. We are all greeted so warmly, so joyfully as we are welcomed. Healing chambers have been made available for each one of us. So look around now and find your healing chamber. Walk in and sit down. Now in this place, you are in a much higher energy field. You have access to much higher consciousness. But in order to make everything acceptable to your third dimensional mind, we will ask you to visualize something which has in itself something which your mind can relate to. So we ask you to visualize and to look with your third eye at a screen which is in front of you. This is actually 
a very evolved system which Heliowell has created for us. But as we said, in order to make it acceptable for your third dimensional mind, we would ask you to see on this apparatus a clock and a button. What we are going to do together is work with bringing an aspect of your future self into your present self. So if you see that the clock is resting at 12 for midnight or midday, but it's resting at 12, if you move the hand of the clock a little forward to let us say maybe 5 past 12, or 10 past 12, that will represent yourself in the future. So what we ask you to do now is to think of something which you would like to achieve, maybe in three months time or six months time, relating to your spiritual development your spiritual evolution. It may be something that you would like to free yourself from, something you would like to heal, or a higher ability which you already possess in your more evolved self, which you would like to bring into your future. So as you look now onto this screen, you have moved the dial forward to five past 12 or 10 past 12 and you look into the screen. As you look into the screen, you see an image appearing. This is an image of your future self who has already achieved what you wish to achieve or to acquire. It is important to mention here that all experiences are stored as visual images. So Helioa now asks you to see that image of your future self, to see it growing brighter and stronger. Bring your love to the image and hold your focus on that image as intensely as you can. And when you feel that that image is as intense and as strong as you can make that image in your visualization, you press the button to save that image. Now that the image is saved, Helio R, using holographic energy, holographic light, will download that image into your present self. So allow yourselves now to relax, to open your channel, to fill your hearts with love, and to receive into your present self that aspect of your future, more evolved self, now. You will experience yourself filling with an intense golden light and a feeling of joy and happiness. slowly and walk back to where we arrived 
and we find ourselves coming together once again with Helio and Helio now has another work which he wishes us to participate in. So we are all now being led into a very large room which we may call a theatre. Once again, we are in the fifth dimensional space. Everything is light. Everything is crystalline. It is love and beauty and higher light. Allow yourselves to receive that experience into yourselves. So we all sit down on a seat of our choice in this large theater. And we invite into this theater to join us. Other star seats and light workers who wish to come to this place to work with us and the theater gradually begins to fill with many souls in their light bodies. For as we work together, so the arcan power of our thoughts and of our work can have greater effect. Helio are now sends into each of us through our crown a higher frequency of her holographic light. This light is healing. It is expanding. As we simply allow ourselves to receive, we gradually become more receptive and more able to hold this high golden light. Helioa now asks us to work with the holographic energy for the healing of our beloved planet and of humanity. We all know that we are moving towards ascension and we all know that there are certain blocks which those that wish to remain in the dark and not move into the light or desperately trying to leave in place. The earth is a hologram, a holographic thought field, and we will be working from the fifth dimension to send holographic light, holographic energy, a new thought field into the unconscious thought field around the earth. So we will now look at a huge screen in front of us, which you could wish to visualize perhaps as a cinema screen. And we will open our hearts to greater love there is so much love here in the starship Athena. You simply need to let it in to experience this great love. And we will begin to focus our thoughts, our concentration and our intention. As we look into the screen, we connect from this higher place to the unconscious thought field of earth. We know that those in control that are holding on to all the systems, political, military, media, etc., etc., the banking financial systems, 
the health systems, the education systems, etc., etc. In order for the new earth to come into being and for the process to move forward, we are all waiting for disclosure, for everything to move forward and to come closer to the ascension into the new earth. So let us all now work together as we send out through our third eye onto the screen images of any darkness, any system of control which is coming from the dark, collapsing. You simply hold a thought and project it onto the screen of a collapse of any negative or dark energy which is blocking the light. Just like the burning wall suddenly came down, you see everything collapse as everything that has been hidden from us, all that we have not been told, all the lies that we have been given. We simply see it collapse as it just falls and disintegrates. And as we hold those images, those thought fields, Helioel is working with us to download those powerful holographic thought fields into the unconscious of humanity, of the earth, which can remove any blocks, any barriers to moving forward in the light. you see everything of the old collapse, you now replace all those images with higher thoughts, with loving thoughts, with fifth dimensional images, as you now place onto that screen images of the new earth, of the fifth dimensional earth, of love, of beauty, of harmony, of all that we wish to create, of all that we wish this earth to be. And you see those positive images with the greatest intensity, with the strongest light that you are able to create. Know that this is powerful work that you are doing for the healing of humanity and for the healing of beloved Earth. So we will finish our work here now. Such beautiful work has been done. And Helioa is so grateful for this opportunity that she has been given to work with us and to teach us her work. She would request that you repeat this work for the planet as often as you may wish.
or the work will be strengthened every time. And not only will it be of great assistance to your planet and to humanity, but through working in service in this way, you yourselves will be gifted with higher light and more assistance in your own evolution. So let us now move back into the entrance of Athena where we first arrived. You'll probably feel that you are filled now with so much light. You can take this light with you, you know, when you return to the earth. Let us remind you before we return that it is extremely important that you leave the same, that you arrive the same way you left and that you re-enter your body in the most perfect alignment. So please follow my instructions as we move back. So we all move into the golden corridor of light with Helioa, who is guiding us back. We gently come down through the corridor of light and we find ourselves some feet above our body. And we now issue a command to our spirit body to re-enter into our physical body in perfect alignment as we come back down gently into our bodies. We bring so much light with us as we come into our body. We feel so light, so expanded. And we feel our feet on the floor. We feel ourselves present in our bodies and we enjoy the love, the light that we have brought back with us as we carry this joy with us throughout our day. And Helio I now thanks you all once again and bids you good day.